Ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, welcome to Circle Slash TV. I'm Chris. I'm Chelsea. I'm John. And this is 15 Seconds or Less. Are you sick of vague movie trailers beating around the bush, never really getting to the point of what the film is about? Today we explore the keynotes of some of the most iconic movies in history in 15 seconds or less. We've all compiled a list of movies for each other. I don't know what they picked for me. I don't know what they picked for me. And I don't know what they picked for me. So let's fucking do it. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Uh, Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey and another Jim Carrey movie being the pleasant guy we all love. He loves pets and he's trying to find out about a missing dolphin. He finds out that the guy's a transvestite and the head of the police detective place. Die hard. Okay, so basically everybody is held up in uh, the Nakatomi Plaza. There's a bad hostage situation. He's trying to get back with his ex-wife. There's a helicopter that happens at some point. Things explode. Uh, Bruce Willis and, uh, yeah. Donnie Darko. You want to explain that in 15 fucking seconds? <laughs> Time travel. A fucking, <laughs> a dude in a, in a bunny suit. He dies with an airplane fucking uh, jet engine falls into his house into his room, killing him. It's much more complicated than that. <laughs> wild Wild West. Uh, Will Smith uh, hanging out with the white dude, trying to take down basically steampunk Nazi uh, fucking old Western guy and they're fighting and the giant mechanical spider that's like uh, coming after them. Ghostbusters. Okay, so I have not seen this movie since I was a child. But uh, Dan Aykroyd and friends, uh, Bill Murray, they have to dis they have to <laughs> vacuum up the ghost. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire, go. <laughs> <laughs> this is too fucking funny shit. Um, all right, uh, a man loses his kids and uh, wants to get him back, so he dresses up as a woman, an old lady who's a nanny, and chaos ensues. He ultimately makes amends with the ex-wife and fuck. Midsummer. So it's a girl and she's wrongly treated by her stupid ass boyfriend who makes a fucking plan to go to Europe without her and it's super rude. And so she didn't decides to invite herself and then a lot of stuff happens and she becomes the queen and then he dies. Greece. Uh, man, kind of creepy, misogynistic, old timey folks and they're, he's trying to get the girl. Really, I don't remember any conflict in the movie, but I think uh, he's just trying to win the girl over, maybe? Uh, I don't really remember. A Star is Born. Okay, A Star is Born. Um, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper meet at a drag club, and he discovers her amazing talent, and then she becomes an international superstar, and then he gets really jealous and kills himself because he can never be as good as Lady Gaga, because nobody can be. The Mummy. <laughs> Brandon... <laughs> I, I'm, damn it. Uh, <laughs> Brendan Fraser opens some tombs and has to kill a bunch of mummies. Ancient curse. Uh, and he ultimately does. I haven't seen it so long, but that's basically it, right? Pulp Fiction. Oh, man. Bruce Willis is a bad boxer. or he's a, bit, he's a good boxer. He's a really good boxer. And he throws a fight. And then he's in trouble with Marcellus Wallace, who, is, uh, who, who paid money for him to throw the fight. And now Bruce Willis is on Passion of the Christ. Okay, so I saw this movie in a the theater with my mom, and I don't remember much of it because I don't give a fuck about Jesus. But what I understand is that there's a lot of torture, crucifixion, uh, bad, bloody stuff, and Mel Gibson. So, um, yeah, that's my knowledge of this movie. Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Shit. Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. They're, uh, Paul Walker's a cop and he's trying to catch I don't even remember this fucking movie there's a lot of cars they drive fast some are criminals but Paul Walker's a cop he tries to end up helping them in some way I think I don't know Legally Blonde Legally Blonde the best movie of all time Elle Woods is a struggling woman with a man that doesn't treat her well enough and thinks she's not smart enough and then she kicks ass and becomes the best lawyer in the entire universe that's it that's the end of the review Inception Oh boy, <laughs> dreams and dreams and dreams, and then eventually he finds his wife in a dream, and he tries not to get trapped in the dream. Uh, but then the ambiguous ending ends the movie. Sixth Sense. Okay, 
So, Bruce Willis uh, is mentoring this kid that apparently can see ghosts and he tries to help him out throughout his whole life. I don't really remember their relationship. If he's, you know, the kid's dad or whatever. I don't remember. Wayne's World. <laughs> uh, two dorks who like rock and roll uh, in the basement. They have a TV show. Uh, they try to get uh, really popular. I don't remember what the conflict is at, with the movie, but they end up getting picked up for distribution, I believe. I don't... Fuck, I don't remember... Wayne's World. <laughs> Crossroads. Crossroads. Oh, my goodness. Featuring the one and only Britney Spears. It is a coming-of-age tale of three teenage girls who meet up with a guy with a questionable past. They never should have gotten involved with this guy. It was a huge mistake, as was this movie. Army of Darkness. Uh, uh, Bruce Campbell is fighting to get back home. To, uh, 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 and he's fighting an army of the dead because... He took the Necronomicon because he didn't, but he didn't say the Klaatu Barada Nikto. So, but then the wizard sends him back to uh, cats. Cats. The new version is about cats, and they are trying <laughs> to be the Jellicle cat that will cross over into the. It's basically just a suicide ideation uh, type of movie. Uh, the Matrix. Fuck. All right, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of something that came out recently about it. Um, the, world, the world is not the world, and AI has taken over, and everyone lives in a little farm with things in their heads and goo, and one man controls... Uh, <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, boy. Okay, so um, these two squares get very stranded on a late, rainy night, and they happen to come into contact with the most incredible castle you've ever seen, um, it is maintained by the inc Starship Troopers. A uh, man goes into the military to try to impress a woman, and then they end up fighting giant bugs, uh, and they Neil Patrick Harris baits them into getting the brain bug so that they can defeat the bugs in space. Forrest Gump. Oh, Forrest Gump. He is a special man on a special mission. He meets a woman who is kind of a saucy harlot. Uh, he inspires and intrigues the nation and just really does the most. Well, that sucked. Hope we helped you find a film to tickle your fancy. Enjoy your week and have a lovely fucking whatever. I am dying inside.